ladies and gentlemen, shortly you will see a traditional dance originating from Bali, Indonesia for your viewing pleasure. The Baris Tuga dance is a traditional war dance. It is a dance that glorifies the manhood of the triumph Balinese warrior. Additionally, the dance also depicts and symbolizes the warrior preparing to confront the enemy in the battle field. A Baris dancer often conveys fierceness, disdain, pride, alertness, compassion, and regret, which are the characteristics of a warlike nobleman. For your kind reference, the word Baris means lion, and the dance is a allusion to the warrior's back in a way who fought for the king of Bali. Without further ado, here is the Baris Tungal dance.
Ladies and gentlemen, we now invite His Excellency Yene Piccolo, Minister of Education, Science and Sport of the Republic of Slovenia to deliver his remarks. Your Excellency, dear Ambassador, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Good evening to all of you and I have to say it is an immense pleasure to be here this evening with you on the occasion of the Indonesian National Poet. Please allow me to express this opportunity to congratulate you and the people of Indonesia on this occasion. I would like to highlight very good relations that we have between two countries. They have been developing for the past 26 years Last year we celebrated 25, also with signing of a memorandum of understanding between our educational institutions. So it's not that we just have peaceful and very good relations, but we strive to work for our citizens on both sides, be it students, be it researchers, be it in many other ways as tourists, or in other capacities. Slovenia highly appreciates the role of Indonesia in the region as a promoter of peace, stability, and tolerance. I think we're on a good path towards even better relations. I am convinced 
that our relations will grow. They will grow because they have good foundations, foundations that have been laid 26 years ago, and they will be always for the mutual benefit of the two countries. So ladies and gentlemen, if you'll allow me, and if someone may pass me maybe a glass of wine, <laughs> Let me raise this glass and join me, please, in a toast to the health and happiness of us all, and above all, to the friendship between two great countries. Yes. Cheers. Thank you, Your Excellency, Yana Piccolo. I now invite His Excellency, Ambassador Dr. Darmanshah Jumala to deliver his remarks. His Excellency, Excellency Dr. Yana Piccolo, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education, Science and Sport. Excellencies, Ambassadors, Ladies and Gentlemen, Honorable officials of the government of Slovenia and members of the parliaments of Slovenia. Good evening, Dobet Fecha. It is a great pleasure for me to be here, to be with you here. It is a very important event in celebrating our national day, Indonesian independence, and uh, I'm very delighted to be here in Ljubljana and to have the opportunity to speak at this reception on the 7th, 73rd anniversary of Indonesia Japan. I would like to thank the Excellencies and distinguished guests who have joined me for tonight's celebration. I would also like to thank to the Slovenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and all those who have assisted the Embassy of Indonesia in making this evening's receptions possible. Before I continue, let me congratulate the government of Slovenia on the successful elections recently held here, as well as the formation of the new government, and Indonesia is looking forward to continue working with the government under His Excellency Prime Minister Marian Sarec. In this connection, Indonesia will also be holding a direct, direct presidential elections, as well as a national and regional parliamentary elections on 17th of April 2019, next year, which I hope will reflect the successful democratic right achievement of Indonesian people. Ladies and gentlemen, last year in 2017, we commemorated two 25 years of the diplomatic ties between Indonesia and Slovenia, agreement between Pajajaran University Bandung and the University of Ljubljana in the field of academic programs on 28 November 2017. But let us not forget another important relationship, that is the relationship between the Indonesian and the Slovenian people, people-to-people -people contact especially young people, the millennials. As the future of our bilateral relations lies in their hands, the Indonesian government provides scholarship for Slovenian students to study the Indonesian language, art, and cultures in Indonesia, namely the Dharma Siswa program and the Indonesia Art and Culture Scholarship program. It is our hope that more and more young Slovenes will seize, we'll seize this opportunity as a way to conduct an intercultural dialogue with young Indonesians in our own country. We are convinced that this kind of cultural dialogue is the best way to establish a mutual understanding among the people of our two countries. Once again, thanks, thanks to all of you who have come to celebrate this important moment with us tonight. I sincerely hope that we may continue our partnership and cooperation in the future. 
On behalf of my MC and my country, I thank you. Kuala Fun. In conclusion, let, let us invite you all, and especially Assistant Health and Minister of Education, to raise your glass for a toast for our friendships and up the prosperity of our two nations. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers.